The PLCO, which stands for the four cancers that were screened in the trial, prostate, lung, colorectal, and ovarian cancer, was the largest cancer screening trial ever performed in the United States. And as implied by the name, it screened for four very common cancers that account for almost 45% of all cancer-related deaths in the United States. Screening for cancer is counterintuitive. We can't assume that all screening tests are beneficial and all work to the same extent. Um, at for each individual cancer, it also therefore answered very important questions. When we started the trial, there was a great deal of controversy surrounding the use of screening tests for prostate cancer, and that included controversy over PSA blood testing for prostate cancer as well as digital rectal examination. The controversy is not completely resolved by the results of the trial, but the results are very important and should inform individual decision making by men who face the decision of whether or not to be screened. The results of the trial in our hands showed that there was no benefit detected associated with PSA screening and with digital rectal examination and therefore, at least in the context of this trial, there appeared to be more harms than benefits. So that was a very important and pressing issue that American men faced and we think that the trial contributed in a major way to answering the questions that were then extant. In terms of lung cancer, Chest x-rays were often being used to screen people, both sm smokers and non-smokers, for the existence of lung cancer with the assumption that any test that could pick up an asymptomatic cancer would lead to benefit. Unfortunately, the trial showed that there was no detectable benefit associated with routine chest x-ray screening in either heavy smokers former smokers or never smokers. On the other hand, the colorectal cancer screening component of the trial was positive. That is, it did show a benefit to the use of sigmoidoscopy at the start of the trial, then three and five years later in people who were asymptomatic and not suspected to have underlying colorectal cancer. And in there, there was a, in that part of the study, there was about a 26% relative reduction in risk of dying of colorectal cancer in the people who were in the screened arm and received an organized program of 60 centimeter flexible sigmoidoscopy compared to controls who were just receiving usual care. We've come to learn over the years that with most screening tests there is an element of overdiagnosis. That is the detection of cancers that look like they could be life-threatening to a pathologist but actually don't grow fast enough and may not grow at all and so they're not really life-threatening. And so uh, to the extent that they trigger unnecessary therapy they also trigger unnecessary harm. So the questions for the future that arise from results of studies like this, in which we did note overdiagnosis, are to try to identify those cancers that are screen detected that are overdiagnosed and therefore shouldn't be treated. That opens up a whole new needed area of research in biomarkers and genetic studies of the tumors and the surrounding tissue that can help us identify the tumors that are best left alone and that it hopefully will help us to improve the benefits and limit the harms of routine screening.